Hey, Nigel, congrats on the win, man. Uh, just I wanted your thoughts on, on looking back on this regular season now that you're through it all. There's been ups and downs and highs and lows, and I'm sure all of that. But as a freshman, to look back on your first season, uh, what can you say about the experience? I mean, it's a great experience. It's something I, I looked up to and looked for um, my entire life. I mean, it's everything I expected. I put in a lot of hard work. Um, it felt good to have my teammates and my coaches trusting me this year. Uh, especially being a freshman, being able to be, you know, put into the fire at a, at a young age, who's able to develop me early. Uh, I feel like it's really good for my game. Um, I really enjoyed it with my teammates, you know, our ups and downs. I enjoyed the whole process of it. It's been a long season. It's been a long grind for us. I feel like the way we end the season, you know, is really good um, boost and a really good kickoff for us to uh, enter the Big 12 tournament. Do you think that maybe those those lows and those rough moments that you guys experienced kind of brought you closer together and has kind of helped push you towards this this good finish? I mean, yeah, I believe, um, you know, all the things that went wrong with the season, you know, was just there to show us that, you know, we don't know everything. I mean, it's a lot of freshmen on the team coming from being, you know, the main guys um, from where they're coming from. So, you know, we had to go through those losses, you know, to be able to learn that, hey, we need to listen. We need to, you know, this is a different, it's a different level. It's the big boy leagues now. We can't do it on our own. And ever since we, um, ever since then, we learned to play with each other. We learned to pick it up on defense. And the season's been great since. Thanks, Nigel. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Nigel, just how, how much better would you guys say you're playing right now than even a month ago? I mean, I feel like, you know, we, we picked it up since, uh, since the Christmas break. Uh, I feel like, you know, ever since, but ever since about um, about a month ago, I feel like our defensive intensity has picked up. Uh, I feel like we take pride in that now, especially with the new, with the stance, take slapping the ground. I feel like we take pride in, you know, our defensive side. And I feel like that's what's making us a different type of team, um, playing defense and locking guys down um, and not trying to have a scoring match with them. Instead, we, you know, try to keep them below a certain amount of points each game. And that's what, you know, makes it successful. And uh, how did you think it went playing pretty much exclusively four guards and one big today? I mean, I felt I felt like it was great. Um, especially it, it matched us up perfectly with them. Uh, playing guards, you know, we're we're able to stretch the floor out. Uh, defensively, we're able to get out there, guys, because we can we can switch a lot. And um, you know, with the one big in there, I feel like you know it makes us us guards have to rebound more, which kind of makes us a little smaller. But I feel like we did a great job of that today. And uh, what what would you say your expectations are for the Big Twelve tournament next week? I mean, we're the underdogs coming in here. I mean, nobody expects anything of us. So that kind of, you know, um, the more things we can do, there's no pressure on us to do anything. I mean, that kind of makes things going to be a little sweeter when we, we do something really special. And I believe in us. Um, our coaches believe in us. And we believe in each other to be able to do something that nobody else expects us to do. Thanks, Nigel. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Next question to Michael Goins. Uh, Nigel, have you guys kind of learned to grind a little bit more, grind out victories, grind out points, grind out possessions? I mean, I feel like that just came with experience throughout the season. Um, at the beginning of the season, we weren't, you know, experienced enough to be able to close out games. I mean, um, we had a lot of games where we were really close. Like uh, we could say like a Texas lost. I mean, we was right there. Um, we, those, those games like that, you know, taught us experience on how to close out games, how to win games. And I feel like ever since then, we learned, we picked up things, we watched film. We got better at it in the last four games. We we've been able to win three, and most of them been really close at the end. And I feel like we're getting more and more successful with that. What's the most important factor defensively that has, has given you guys uh, kind of a lift? I mean, I feel like we all got each other's back. I mean, uh, we all rotate. Um, we're gonna get beat. I mean, everybody gets beat. It's part of basketball, but. You know, each other, having each other's back, having our brothers back to be able to come and help them and having the next guy's back and having the next guy's back. I feel that's what makes us special. We never we never give up on the play. Um, I want to talk about Selden. I mean, he, he's in changed. He's in he turned into a really big time defender. He's been locked up. I can say the best of the best in our in our league. And I'm I'm really proud of him. I mean, it takes a lot. I mean, especially being a young guy and then locking up the best players in our in our league. I mean, that's something special. And it starts with him. And where are you at right now, uh, kind of emotionally? You're 600 miles from home, going through a COVID year. What, what's this year been like for you? I mean, it's been ups and downs. I mean, moving into a new place, um, coming from, you know, kind of more of a city area to more of a rural. Um, but K-State has definitely shown me a lot of love. I mean, public time, I get some I get some fans that stops and talks to me, and nobody's ever been negative with me, no matter 
a good game or a bad game. They're always positive with me. Um, I even seen a guy at a gas station after after a loss. I mean, he was still very positive. They're very, you know, they're very into K-State sports, and I really, I really appreciate that. And I really like that a lot about our fans. I mean, it's definitely a grind out season. It's been a long season for all of us, but I feel like nobody wants it to end uh, right now. I feel like we want to make some noise in the tournament. You feel like you're kind of getting your legs back after uh, it's a long season for you, right? Yeah, it's, it's been a long season. I mean, just, you know, being able to maintain my body, um, taking care of it. I mean, I think it'd be very key. Um, the Big 12 tournament is going to be, you know, back-to-back -back games, things like that. Um, never played, you know, college basketball back-to-back, -back, but I know it could be very challenging, and I know that I need to make sure I, I take care of my body so I can be ready for, you know, the games to go.